Princess Tenny Aofiebi celebrated her 70th birthday on Tuesday, the 27th of December, 2022, at her residence, Eric Manuel Crescent, Bodithamo Street, Ikeja, Lagos. Princess Tenny Aofiebi is a Nigerian actress and businesswoman. She attended St. Anne's School in Ibado for her secondary school education. She received higher education at the Constituent College of the University of London, UK. She is the aunt to actress Funlola Aofebi Ne Raimi. For her career, she starred in the soap opera Mirror in the Sun between 1948 and 1986. Princess Aofebi also starred in the TV series For Better for Worse in 2003. In 2005, she starred in the political thriller Prince of the Savannah. In 2013, Princess Aofoebi starred in the romantic comedy Flower Girl, directed by Michelle Bello. She also played a role in the 2015 soap opera Royal Castle, with themes involving betrayal, deception, corruption, and love. In May 2014, she launched her rental business, TKM Essentials. Her primary clients were event planners and interior decorators. The event to celebrate Princess Tenny Aofebi at 70 began with a tribute session by High Chief Abraham Adisa, who represented the Alaki of Igbaland. Professor Koin Solajai Esien, Mr. Kayode Bakari, in their remarks, they spoke highly of Princess Tenny Aofebi and delivered their goodwill messages. Quarantine, a lot of changes. Let's talk about what is happening to do right now. And this time you are with her. You always enjoy the way she talks and the way you handle things. So I've been here since morning. I came from Medukuta. I'm not minding the long journey, but I've been here to stay with her and enjoy with her. And her impeccable English, her great fashion sense and her sense of loyalty, of dedication, and more important, uh, her love for family, and on top of that, love for Christ. Uh, Sister Tony, uh, for a long time, has been someone that has been, you know, very deep in, in matters of religion, and in matters of, you know, personal development. My wife and her family, her mother and my wife's mother were very close. In fact, the two families were very close. So when I got to meet my wife and started courting my wife, that's how I got to meet her as well. She was there from the get-go. <laughs> so, and uh, she hasn't changed. She's been a lovely lady, uh, very open-minded, very... She's, you get what you see. That's the thing about her. She's been very forthright and, you know, she's a good person. She has a good heart, you know, that's... Uh, and, and, you, and you can't replace that. There was a thrilling sax performance by Femi Sax. This was followed by the remarks of Prince Bisio Latilo, the chairman and CEO of Biscon Communications, who was the master of ceremony at the event. He congratulated the celebrant at 70. And um, although she speaks English with a lot of um, panache and the rest of it, she is very traditional too. She doesn't joke with... Be woman so unapologetically a bagel. That's what she says to everybody. <laughs>
In the remarks of engineer Ife Uyedele, President Unilag Alumni Association Worldwide, he spoke about how he met the celebrants 20 years ago at the Ojudeoba Festival in Ejebu de Ogun State. More than just speaking, she's a woman of panache, style. She has a lot of style. She has um, very good values, very good manners. When you, when you, if you don't come from that kind of a background, you will almost detest her because of the way she does her things, the way she uh, ensures that things are done properly and decently. And, um, you know, if you have met her children, you will understand what I'm saying. Um, they, they are well behaved. You will be happy hitting 70. And my prayer for you is that you will hit 80 and hit 90 and hit 100. But more than anything, you will be in good health. Omoba Adegbola Ademola spoke about the many accomplishments of the celebrant as an actress, politician and a religious woman. He also spoke about her very sound educational background and hailed her at 70. God has blessed her in many, many, many ways. A princess, an actress, educationalist, a politician, <laughs> and very, very religious. We congratulate her on this very, very um, occasion of her 70th. Mrs. Fumilayo Sholeye, cousin of the celebrant, spoke about their early days at St. Anne's College Ibado and some of the fun memories they had. We left Corona and went off to St. Anne's. Fortunately for both of us, we were in different houses, so there was no issue of sibling rivalry at all. She was there and in St. Clair and I was there in St. Hilda's. She was there with her Queen's English and I was there with my own mini Queen's English. <laughs> so, and so, we've been together forever. Our parents both worshipped, our parents worshipped at Cathedral Church of Christ. So we met there and funnily enough, today we are both cross parents. Yes. So you see, Tenny and I have been virtual sisters all our lives. I've even welcomed her into the 70 club to show you that I'm actually Yes, I'm actually older than her. In the remarks of Mrs. Tawa Okurududu, she talked about the enviable leadership qualities of the celebrant as well as her loyalty. She also spoke about how she won Miss Caribbean in the United Kingdom. She ended by praying for good health and more years on earth for her. So we had a lovely time and we had nice escapades in school and so on. And through the years, we have been firm friends, firm friends. And uh, I find her a very good person, very loyal, and she's very forthright. She speaks her mind. Sometimes she can be a bit blunt, but she doesn't mean, <laughs> she doesn't mean anything bad by it. That's her nature. And she's speaking the truth, and it's good. And she's also very, very hardworking. She's a hardworking person. She works hard, and she gets things done. I thank God for her life, and I wish her only the best. May God continue to bless and keep her, keep her family, give her long life, divine health, joy, and she also she makes a lot of impact upon people. She's very helpful to people, and she's very encouraging as well. Mrs. Nike Bakari spoke extensively about their childhood journey together and wished her a happy birthday at 70. Auntie Tenny has been a pillar in my life. She has been an older sister that I didn't have. And there isn't anything that I, I wouldn't discuss with her. I think one of her strengths is that she's extremely plain. She's very forthright. She's very honest. 
and she's very loving. And as you can imagine, it's an emotional speech I'm about to make because I think she has been um, such a steady rock for me in my life. Her mother was to me Auntie Omoba, and she has always been Auntie Tenny. But what I want to just say today is that I really wish you many, many more years. It's been a wonderful journey being with you throughout. And the twins, she had twins and I had twins. So we have a lot in common. And I think at the end of the day, what we can do is just wish her the very best, wish her a lot of love, which I do. And I think all of you here will agree with me that she really is a gem. Major Onu Ibe retired in his tribute, talked about the friendly and accommodating nature of the celebrant, Princess Tenny Aofiebi. I will not say much about her to this gathering. All I want to say is she calls me Egbon and I call her my sister, Aburo. She calls my wife sis. So it's a, it's a family. I express on behalf of all who are here the joy that we are able to celebrate her seventh year with her in her abode, in her environment, and also under her condition. To pray for her is something, but she's a prayerful person herself. And her prayers already reach high into the heavens. None of us can diminish it, but we also just help her along and hope that many more years we shall share together. Mrs. Elizabeth Obande, who flew in from Abuja purposely for the event, spoke extensively about how wonderful the celebrant is. She afterwards prayed for her and wished her many more years of laughter and joy. I've known Tenny for years, and the twins are about the same age as my first son, and um, we've come a long way. Tenny used to take my children to school for me, you know, and uh, we, we have been together. Although I don't live in Lagos, we still keep in touch. She's a wonderful person. Wonderful, I mean wonderful. I'm happy to be here and I wish her the very best in life. May God continue to bless her. May God continue to give her good health. May God bless her with many more years of peace, joy, laughter, and happiness. In Immediately after the tribute session was the kick cutting exercise, supervised by Prince Bisiolatilo, the chairman and CEO of Biscon Communications. Right now, give me a T that is not sounding from your heart. Give me a T. Give me an E. Give me an N, give me an I, give me a D, an A, a D, and an A, turn it that day. Your hands fist together for her. After the cutting of the cake, the celebrant, Princess Tenny Aofeibi's old school mates, sang a birthday song and the St. Anne's School Anthem in her honor. Yeah, yeah. 
we are to explain, but to service to God and mankind. Set us, set us. Other friends that later joined towards the tail end of the program were Miss Moabudu. Founder of the Vanguard newspaper, Uncle Samamuka, Mr. Bayo Gunlano, journalist turned politician and real estate guru, among others. The event ended with a photo and video session. Of From Biscon Communications, it's 70 hearty cheers to Princess Tenny Aofiebi.